In today's video, we collaborate with MockPlus RP, an easy-to-follow prototyping and wireframing tool. MockPlus RP allows you to create interactive prototypes with simple drag-and-drop options. Let us show you how to do it. Using MockPlus RP is really easy and simple because they have all pre-made components and icons for you. You can just easily drag and drop this component and icon into your artboard. Let's say you need a button. You can just drag this pre-made button and start editing your button. You can change the color, text, size of the container, etc. Let me demonstrate something, how easy and fast I can create this bottom navigation with this pre-made component and icon in MockPlus RP. This pre-made component gives you the benefit of not wasting time opening another file, finding the component, finding the icon, detaching from the main component, copying to the artboard then starting editing the component and icon. It's frustrating. That's why I recommend you use MockPlus RP on your workflow. Because MockPlus RP can help you design faster and collaborate better. If you think that's the only benefit, the answer is no because MockPlus RP also gives you experience in fast prototyping. Let me show you how to do it. I already have all my screens here. Let's start making the interaction with this filter icon. Click this filter icon to see a trigger point and then drag it into this filter screen to create a connection. After that, the option will pop up immediately and you can start changing the trigger, command, position, etc. I'm going to set this interaction first and connect all screens before I show you the final interaction. Now, let's make a connection between this product card and detail screen. And the interaction will be when I click this card will swipe up to show the detail screen. And for this cancel button, I will make a connection to home since it's cancelled. The interaction will be when I click this button, it will have a snap transition to the home screen. All buttons for this design will have the same interaction setting as the cancel button except for the like button. The process for the like button will be different, so I will fast forward this process for now.
and for this like button, we will make an interaction using the show and hide command. But before that, we need to duplicate the light icon and change it to bold icon with color. And then, cut the light icon, you can use Ctrl plus X to cut it, and move it outside the icon group. After that, select the light icon and move it backward behind the icon group. Now let's start add some interaction for this, like icon. First, you need to click the icon group, and then set the trigger to self. After that, choose Command, Show and Hide. And for this icon group, we need to hide the bold icon first. To allow us to show the light icon when we click the bold icon, we need to add more interaction and set the trigger to the light icon and choose a show on the command. Now, select the light icon and repeat the process the same as the icon group. And now, let's preview the interaction that I already created. Isn't that lovely? Mockplus RP also has a free UI kit template that you can access through your dashboard or Mockplus web. There are a lot of UI kit templates you can use. To download this UI kit, you just need to click the template and click this button to allow you to edit or save it into your project. To make your collaboration with your team better, you can use Mockplus Cloud where you can review, collaborate, and hand off projects all in one project and platform. To do this, you just need to click publish on the RP canvas to sync the project content to Modplus Cloud for further collaboration and handoff. You can quickly switch between the two via the button in the lower left corner of the project homepage. That's pretty much it on all about Modplus. Make sure to check out Mockplus and create your workflow more faster, smarter, and easier. Try Mockplus now, link in the description.